Hello, welcome to wonderfulwoodworking.com. Homer Sherist here, and what I uh, what I'd like to do here this is number four in the series of my wood uh, replicas, uh, toy replicas, and uh, that is my hobby. Uh, so I really enjoy doing this, and I'd like to just share some of the, the things with you. Now this here happens to be probably the most challenging one that I've done yet, and that's this high high track. Uh, uh, cat here, but very detailed everything works on it as you can see the blade goes up and down it tilts uh, You have the back ripper on it that goes up and down here and tilts this type of thing the tracks all work they rotate and uh, Very realistic to to what you have uh, Out there in the field today and um, but to do these things here naturally like any project you should have a good working plan and that's what uh, I build these from, is, is from a good working plan. All the plans, this particular unit here I believe has seven different pages to it, so it gets quite involved. In here you will see some of the little detailed uh, pieces here that have to go on, such as the, the fuel tanks here and uh, uh, little steps and stuff like this here. But all of these uh, pieces here are all to scale. If you go exactly by the way that these things are on here, this is what you will end up with. They all fit perfectly when, when you uh, go, by the, go by the scale of, of the unit. Now, one thing I will uh, tell you about, about these here. With this particular unit here, there's an awful lot of little wee pieces. So what I do is, they don't cost you a whole bunch for material. Because what I do is I go down to our local school uh, workshop here and I collect their uh, pieces of hardwood that they would normally be throwing out the door. And I might come home with two or three boxes of different types of hardwoods and that. And it works beautiful. Because these are all made out of hardwood. It's all a natural finish on them. So uh, by using different kinds of, of hardwood and that type of thing, you get different features accent differently on, on it, and uh, it works great. But getting back to the plans and that, learn how to make lots of different jigs. For instance, this here, all of these little track pads have to be all, all made. And these here are, uh, you start out with just a strip of wood. I'm not sure the exact dimension, I'd have to go back to the plan. But this is what you start out with. Now, when you, uh, there's little notches in, the, in those pads because there's little dowel pins goes all the way through to make them so they will turn in that. So what you have to do is I made a jig here that goes on my bandsaw. And uh, I just notch out where I want the notches to be and uh, there we go, then that little piece is knocked out. Then I go over to the press drill, I have another little uh, uh, template there that I use to stand these up and I drill holes right through. Uh, if you're set up properly, it works quite well. But I gotta admit, like the tracks on these here took me probably a good four days to do. There's a lot of pieces there and uh, it, it's quite involved in doing it. But that's the idea of the, of the hobby, it, it is to uh, take your time and, and do it well and uh, the satisfaction in the end is just great. Now, there's a section here on just building the dozer itself. Uh, when you make any of these projects here, the only thing that is available as a kit for this thing here is just lengths of doweling. They stuff like this right here. You have doweling and that. I think this one here is for one of the trucks. Yeah, there's a steering wheel in here. So we yeah, on a big doweling here for the fuel tank. But other than that, uh, wheels, you, you can get wheels. They, I usually buy them by the bag full to fit the big trucks and that. Uh, but yes, but other than that, everything else has got to be built, including like this blade and that. And if you, in the diagram here, it, it tells you exactly how this blade is dished out and uh, how it's shaped the way it is. And once you, once you get on to doing this here, it, uh, it's very simple to do. Very simple. 
and a lot of fun, like I say. Now here's one here with uh, all the little uh, track pads and that, that that go on there. It's uh, it becomes very involved. Your uh, your system here for tightening up the tracks works the same thing as it does on the real thing. This this is adjustable in here. That front piece moves back and forth to tighten or loosen your tracks, and it works great. You you've got a carriage that it all runs on. There's a little series of little wheels underneath here, and uh, it works great. Uh, and on the top here, you'll maybe see this is a sprocket that you've got to actually make from from the plans here to run the top of the uh, of the tracks on. So that becomes a lot of fun trying to build that too. I wasn't aware of how to do that, but once I seen it on the print here and took a little bit of time to uh, uh, study it out a bit, I found, hey, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I did it and, and it was great. Then on the back end of this is a full sheet here of just the ripper. And uh, if you look at this ripper, there's a lot of pieces that, that go on there, and a lot of little pieces. And one thing I can't emphasize enough is because of the little pieces when you're working with this type of stuff, always practice good safety. Because I can assure you right now, a router bit has no uh, sympathy for a finger. You have no respect whatsoever. You can lose the end of a finger so fast uh, with those little pieces. Always make sure you've got a jig or something to that you're in control of uh, holding that little piece where you want it when, you, when you're working with uh, power equipment. And uh, the end result will be a lot better too and, uh, and a lot safer environment to uh, work in. But there again with, with this too, it shows you how to make the hydraulic cylinders. They're all made out of dowling. They're drilled out through the centers and you've got a smaller doweling here that goes inside that works freely in and out. And uh, then you've got to make some little end pieces here to, to hook your cylinders on to different attachments. As you can see here, uh, becomes very involved but very and, and challenging. But man, that's, that's the fun of it.